sorry y'all that sorry that's a little shaky i was trying to uh take care of that lighting i apologize before i turned this camera on all right you guys um i'm just gonna go ahead and uh, throw this together i'm gonna make a tortilla pizza now i've done a video on this one time before but um I kind of think I just rushed through it. So I'm going to go ahead and make an another video of it. And today I'm just going to go ahead and make me a medium sized piece. I'm not going to do a large because it's just me here and I don't need a large. All right, you guys. So um, if you guys did not see the um, Instacart grocery haul today, um, please head on over to 6 Minutes of Crazy and check that out. This will be going up on Food Gourmet. All right, y'all. Or I might just upload it on the round table. I'll decide later. Anyway, today I'm just going to go ahead and be using the uh, Kroger's brand flour tortillas. These were hauled. So these are in the haul. Um, the haul will li be linked down in the description box below. Uh, as, as you can see, I've not opened them yet, so we'll open them later. And I'm also going to be using the uh, Kroger's brand uh, turkey pepperoni. And these were also hauled. Sorry about that lighting. And then also, uh, I'm going to be putting uh, in my skillet over here. I have some butterball turkey sausage. And I'll also be going ahead and cutting up some of this Black Forest uncured ham. And I'm going to need some pizza sauce. So this is uh, the Kroger brand pizza sauce. And uh, I'm going to be finishing up the uh, Mexican style blend cheese. And I will be um, adding some of this uh, mild cheddar Kroger brand cheese. Shredded. I already prepared shredded. You can also... Um, grate you some fresh cheese if you want to and put it up right on top of your pizza if you want to um, Sometimes I do do that and it melts deliciously so you guys can go ahead and uh, do that if you want to That's fine with me. It's yours and you can put whatever you want on this pizza um, Today I'm just gonna go ahead and make me a meat lovers pizza with extra cheese you guys can put whatever um, veggies you want on this. You can put uh, black olives. I love black olives. I'm going to end up getting me some. You can put uh, you can put some bacon on this. Some already cooked bacon on this. And just crumble it up. Next time I will show you guys that. Um, you can put whatever veggie you Like I said on this. And you can put um, banana peppers. You can put onions. You can make this a supreme pizza if you want to. Whatever you want to do, you can do it. So the possibilities are endless and the choices are yours. If you guys like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up, share, and definitely comment down below if you want to see more videos like this one. And if you're new, or you're returning and you really haven't hit that subscribe button yet, yeah, down there. And you really haven't hit that notification bell too. I'd appreciate it if you did so down below. And don't forget to hit that notification, like I said, down below on this or one of our other two channels. All the information will be linked down in the description box below once I get all of this filming done. I promise you guys. Um my roundtable channel if you guys have not checked that out i have been uploading in and tirelessly some uh clean videos here for the last two weeks if you guys have not checked those out and i appreciate if you did so um head on over there and do so that channel just got one brand new subscriber so we are at 29 subscribers you guys <laughs> Thank you to that subscriber who subscribed. I really appreciate you guys. Come on, let's grow all of these channels. I do appreciate you guys. You are amazing and wonderful. All right, y'all. So all the information will be linked down in the description box below once I get all of these uh, videos done for you. And I've got one more cleaner video 
that I've got to uh, finish for our deep cleaning video, <laughs> deep cleaning series in parts. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and get this. Uh, let's go ahead and get this cooking video done. And also, I think I'm gonna do a um, microwave mug cake tonight. I don't know if I'm going to because I have a few more cookies left in my uh, in my spice cabinet from last night. So I may do that. I may may or may not do that. I may end up just probably just doing that um, here next week sometime. But I don't know. We'll see how I feel tonight. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and get this pizza done. And you're gonna want. And after you get all of your, um, after you get all of your toppings and your skillet. Um, but before you put your toppings, uh, what before you put your tortilla in, make sure you put your some oil in there. I'm just gonna be using a little bit of vegetable oil. You can use canola. You can use a coconut. You can use olive oil you can use whatever you want and i'm gonna show you guys step by step what to do all right y'all i'm gonna walk you guys through all of this i am not going to voice this over because i don't like voiceover <laughs> but um i'm gonna pull some uh some some a little bit of my oil in here and i'm gonna take my paper towel and i'm gonna wipe it around in my in my skillet and you guys will see that i already have my like I said, my sausage and my skillet, my uh, medium-sized skillet over here. Um, you can make whatever size PC that you want, depending on your family size. All right, you guys. And then uh, after your pizza is done and your skillet, make sure you continue to adjust your, your temperature. And I will tell you guys what uh, temperature I'm putting mine on. It's going to go in the in the oven at 400 degrees for um for the medium size for 15 minutes for the large size 20 minutes so that everything can get all nice and delicious and crisp all right y'all let's go ahead and get started i don't talk too long All right, you guys, um, put your oil in the bottom of your skillet. Um, if you guys have a really nice cast iron skillet, uh, I would do recommend that. But if you guys have a really nice non-stiff skillet, um, that works too. And just wipe it with um, paper towel. And then throw your paper towel out. And then get you're gonna want to reserve you a second piece of paper towel in case you need to um, wipe this again, some of your oil out, because it will collect, and you'll know you'll know when it begins to bubble up. I may not need to do that, but I may need to do that. So I will show you guys that step if I do need to um, wipe some more out as it gets hot. All right, you guys, and as you see, my sausage is already in my skillet. And I'm, I have that on a medium low, low to medium low. And that's going to, you're going to want to cook that till underdone because it's going to continue to cook in the oven. So cook it till just about brown but not done all right y'all i hope that uh i hope that uh that that uh i hope you guys understand that so anyway take your fork or even your spatula sometimes i make i use a spatula you guys um and just mix that around you can use um any type of um, roll sausage that you want this is just um turkey breakfast sausage now you can use italian sausage for this you can use um you can even use ground pork ground turkey for this you can use a uh, ground beef for this and just with that just season it okay you guys just season your um your other ground meats all right you guys now i'm gonna go ahead and take my uh my ham here and I'm going to uh, slice this up 
and have it reserved and ready for me to uh, put on my pizza. Now, my front skillet is not on because I want to go ahead and get my sausage ready. And I'm going to go ahead and open my, my tortillas and my, um, and my pepperonis and my other cheese and uh, have that all reserved. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done right now, you guys. you guys I got my ham chopped I'm gonna go ahead and uh open my tortillas here and my pepperonis and make sure you got your trash bowl next to you I already got my turkey done where I want it and it's gonna continue like I said to cook in the oven all right y'all now I'm gonna go ahead and turn turn my front eye on. This is the skillet we're gonna use for our pizza. Turn your turn your front large skillet on high for just a minute until your oil starts to bubble, and then turn it down and wipe it out if you, if you need to. All right, you guys. Um, my Excuse me, my oil is starting to uh, bubble and separate from the pan. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe some of this out. And it's still going to get crispy on the bottom. And if you got, and I'm going to turn my fire down to about medium. And you can turn it down just a little bit more if you want to, if you're a little bit scared for doing this. <laughs> so just take the, take your paper towel here. And just wipe it around and wipe it out. All right, you guys. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in my tortilla. Now, you're going to want to lay this on the with the bubbles that are the smallest. Let me show you. And this side is the biggest. Lay it on this side that is the smallest with the bubble. And then turn this down. Okay. Now, time for the fun part. We're going to start layering our, our pizza. First, I'm going to go ahead and put some of my pizza sauce down on, on my flat, on my tortilla first. And then I'm going to just start layering it with my toppings. Um, I'm going I'm to put my pepperoni down first. And then the, my sausage is gonna be last, and then we'll put, then we'll put. Uh, but first, before I put any other toppings down, I'm gonna put some cheese on, and then I'm gonna start layering it and layering it on top of the cheese, and then you'll see me sprinkle some extra cheese on top. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs>
guys now I'm gonna go ahead and add me some extra cheese after I put my ham on and I know I said I was gonna wait to put my <laughs> sausage on last but I messed up but it's okay because it's still gonna brown that now I'm gonna put some extra cheese on now you don't have to put extra cheese on yours if you don't want to you leave it off all right y'all by this time your at your fire under you, your skillet should be either on low or off so I'm gonna go ahead and turn mine off because you don't want it to get burnt All right, you guys, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, add some extra cheese on it and get it in the oven. All right, y'all. It's going to, like I said, it's going to go, this medium-sized piece is going to go in the oven for 15 minutes. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean up my mess and uh, wait on my timer to go off. And like I said, you will know when this piece is done with air, when everything is nice and bubbly. When your cheese is melted, it's done. When you see the edges of your tortilla, your crust, I guess I should say, when you see the edges of your crust, nice and and golden brown you'll know that it's done so all right y'all i'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean this mess up and i will see you guys in a little bit all right y'all do y'all see want me to do y'all want to see me clean this up <laughs> yeah i guess i will all right y'all let's go ahead and get started like i said before if you guys like this video and you want to see more of them please go ahead and give it a thumbs up share and definitely comment down below and if you're new or you're returning and you really haven't hit that subscribe button yet i appreciate it if you did so down below and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get the latest updates on what we upload next on this or in one of our other two channels oh yeah make sure you link down in the description box below i think this is gonna go up on foodie gourmet if not then it'll go up on uh the round table and if you guys have not checked out my roundtable channel, please head on over there. Some really good stuff over there, you guys, if you guys like cleaning videos. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and get this all cleaned up. All right, y'all. And um, that's it. <laughs> all right, y'all. Let's go ahead and get this cleaned up. get it out of the oven all right you guys hold on all right you guys now it's all nice and bubbly and i'm gonna go ahead and get it out of the uh out of my skillet, skillet with my spatula, and I'm gonna grab my uh, wooden cutting board. And we're gonna cut this baby up. Cut 
cut it however you want to cut it. I'm just going to cut mine in, um, I believe, eighths. But you can cut yours in fourths if you're not sharing with nobody. All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting up my pizza. We're going to get it on the plate. And that's about it. I'm sorry, you guys, not in eighths. In six pieces. Alright you guys, now I'm going to go ahead and slide this off on my nice glass glass plate here. Or you can use a bigger plate at whatever size of tortilla you used. This should all fit. There. Perfect. All right, you guys, now you can serve this with whatever condiments you want, or you can just eat it just like this. I'm going to eat mine just like this, and that's how you make tortilla pizza. Now, I will um, link this recipe down in the description box below. I found this recipe on Pinterest, and I will link that down below for you guys. All right, y'all. Um, That's it. I'm going to go eat. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. And I will also be showing you guys the finished product as well. And all of the cheese, in addition, you'll know it's done when all of the cheese is melted and everything is nice and bubbly. And your timer does went off. So please set your timer if you're doing a me just a single medium sized pizza. Um just set your timer for 15 minutes. And you can also do a small single serve. And make sure that your rack is on the lowest setting. So let me go ahead and do that now. And please be careful not to burn yourself. Because this skillet is hot, y'all.